Eighth in the division, 16th in the conference, 47 points, but first in Steve Dangle's heart. The San Jose Sharks. Last year, the question was, how depressing will the Sharks be? And the answer was historically depressing. Outside of a small blip where Steve became a Sharks truther and also friend of the Sharks president, uh, who we will get back to. Oh, There's more things to talk about first. Okay, mm -hmm. We don't need to get into those details just yet. But did all the pain pay off? And the... I think what's fascinating is I, I would feel like Macklin Celebrini would feel good. I would think that fourth overall pick Will Smith should help. The addition of Yaroslav Askarov was a very fortunate situation the Sharks took advantage of. And there's a theme here because they also took advantage of the Blues double, a, double RFA offers uh, to get Cody Ceci for next to nothing from the Edmonton Oilers. The Sharks also reacquired Barclay Goudreau against his will, taking advantage of the Rangers cap situation, yep. and were able to get Jake Wallman from Detroit, taking advantage of Detroit's pre-July 1st cap situation. And we're not exactly sure why they traded him, but man, that's a great pickup for the uh, San Jose Sharks. Um, also add to that, signing Tyler Toffoli, Alex Wemberg, Carl Gunstrom, uh, Ty Delandria, and the Sharks look good? Uh, they, I like what they're doing. Good. Let's calm down. Okay. Uh, but, but they're like, not bad. Well, last year was, uh, last year was very difficult. Okay. Last year is the year in a rebuild that is, it's not a rebuild. It's the hurt year. It's the hurt year. Rebuild implies building. Do you see me? No, going you're still up? digging the pit at that. No, point. you're yeah. digging the pit. Yeah. Last year was digging the pit. This year, they uh, start the rebuild. Celebrini, how good's he going to be? Who knows? Sky's the limit. Will Smith, how good's he going to be? Who knows? Sky's the limit. Askarov, how good's he going to be? Sky's the limit. Now, you can't just ice a team of children in the NHL. They'll get killed. But they're surrounded. They're insulated really well with veterans who just got there. Now, how did some of them get there? Yeah. Not all of them maybe were all that stoked. Barkley Goodrow, eh. Um, Tyler Toffoli, uh, no, no, not Tyler Toffoli. Uh, Jake Wallman, eh. But they're there, mm -hmm. right? Wenberg made a decision to sign there. Toffoli is a well-established veteran who's actually kind of a suitcase in this league. It scores and a ton of goals, though. It scores a ton of goals, and I don't think he'll mind the move. Oh, California. Well, he gets to go back. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. He's familiar with the territory. Um, there's a ton of youth on this team, but it's surrounded by a ton of experience. And for most teams, I wouldn't recommend going out and getting Cody Ceci. Uh, he helps them actually. Hugely. He helps that team. Wallman improves that team. And here's where that's important. So they got Askarov. Mm -hmm. He's essentially a rookie. Mm -hmm. I think he's by definition, he, like he can win the Calder. He does have cups of coffee in the NHL, but He's going to have his first full season in the NHL. Last year, Mackenzie Blackwood faced the second most shots per 60 among goalies with at least 30 games played last season. Every 60 minutes, Blackwood was in net. He was facing 34 shots. Wow. <laughs> 34 shots. Hilariously, Kapil Kakinen, who was a Shark before he was traded to New Jersey, was first at 37. No, sorry, 35.7 shots. Essentially facing 36 shots a game. The Sharks need to stop the bleeding there. And you can do that twofold. Number one, you can improve on defense. Mm -hmm. They have. Have they improved dramatically? No. Have they improved? Yes. The other way you can improve is have the puck more <laughs> and be more of a threat offensively. I think they are. Um, they lost Hurdle, so yes, that hurts. Um, uh, one guy scored 45-plus points last year. It was Michael Granlund. Um, I think they're going to outperform that this year. At least one of the rookies is going to outperform that. Um, you know, Tyler Toffoli has a chance of, of outperforming that. Granlin has a chance of outperforming that. Things are heading in the right direction. Jesse. Yeah, I'm I'm very high on the Sharks this year because I really like the forward group. I think having all of those young kids surrounded by those vets that they brought in and and just having Tyler Toffoli, Barclay Goudreau, just guys who know how to win, it feels like something that 
uh, some of the teams that have torn it apart haven't done recently, and that's bring in these vet presences a lot quicker. You know, it feels like Anaheim could have done that a lot a little quicker, and they they didn't get the high end talent that like San Jose has right now. Even Chicago last season, they they tried it, but it, they didn't get high end. They, they just, just got role <laughs> player that guys. they overplayed. Or yeah, paid, yeah, yeah, and some of that went terribly. Um, so I I really like what San Jose's done this off season. I think they're going to be a lot better. The only thing I worry about is the decor. Like the four group, I think is is perfect for a bottom middling team. It's just the decor. There's there's a lot more to be desired. Your star is like Mario Ferraro. Yeah, him and Cody CC as your top pair won't look pretty. But if they can figure out a way to play solid team defense and not relying on individual stars on the back end, like you got decent goaltending, you have if the young forwards can step up and play a prominent role and put some pucks in the net, that's that's going to be spectacular. And just figure out some team defense, they should be halfway decent. We're we're like underscoring or undershooting. We're not talking enough about what a factor having both of Will Smith and Macklin Celebrity could be. Mm-hmm. Uh, for these guys um you know with the Leafs they finished last and we're like yeah they're still gonna be pretty bad and then Austin Matthews comes in and changes the whole freaking game because he's that good uh by all accounts that's supposed to be celebrating um I couldn't believe uh when we had Cam Robinson on from Elite Prospects and he's like this is the best college uh the draft eligible college player we've ever scouted and I'm like ever I was like Jack Eichel is in that conversation. Hmm. Yep. Like this is a, this is a transformative player. Right. And and the question will be how much time do those guys like is is you know starting opening night is Macklin Celebrini taking that starting face off or are you going to go safe with a guy like Granlin who can play some center? If if I'm the Sharks you go 1 2 up the middle Celebrini Smith and Really? Then- you just ride that. Like, this is your future. I think they're ready. Like, Will Smith took his ear, and now now he's back, and Celebrini has declared, I'm going to the NHL. And if he's this generational star, give him the spotlight. If you lose the games, it doesn't really matter at this point. The only There's only upside here, and I think it's going to work out tremendously for them. If you're a Sharks fan, you don't, got, uh, you don't go by the roster that they put out. You don't go, oh, here it is. You go, you go by ice time, yeah. and you go by production. That Matthews, Nylander, Hyman line was the third. Yeah, it was. But they had a guy who scored 40 goals. So Crazy I'm sorry if you have a line with 40 goals on it and it's the only one. Yep. Uh, that's the first line. Yep. <laughs> so I, it could be like that for San Jose. One guy I want to highlight is Ty DeLandria. Uh, he is a 13th overall pick from the 2018 Dallas draft. And Dallas, uh, the Leafs actually just hired Dallas's big scouting guy who, hi- who, right. who also scouted for Detroit when they were in their great years. Dallas has had an unbelievable draft record. And a lot of people look at DeLandria and go, well... That's one that they might have missed on. Hmm. Delandria's ice time, obviously he played half the games last year that he did the year before. His ice time fell. It just didn't seem to be a fit. He only got into six playoff games. What I like about what the Sharks are doing is they're taking advantage of other teams' problems. You know, Nashville with Askarov, Barclay Goudreau, Rangers. But they're also taking chances on a guy like Ty Delandria, who maybe he doesn't top out to be the guy you thought he might be. But this is a project player who's still only 24 years old Mm -hmm. and can easily move up. What is a somewhat okay right wing situation on the San Jose Sharks? This is a guy that could easily, by the end of the season, be playing playing top six minutes. Well, yes, exactly, Adam. Like, this is the thing. You you got a player who, it's Dallas. Yeah, they're so deep. You're not getting a sniff. It's not only is, like for Ty Delandria, not only is it Dallas, you were drafted in 2018. And then you had your development curve screwed up. We've talked about this so many times on the show because it applies to so many different people. It applies to so many different... So many of these young men have had their careers completely screwed up because their biggest developmental years got completely yard sale by a a once-in-a-century event. You know what I mean? Um, Oh, yeah, you're supposed to take a step here, a step there. Uh, Some AHL teams canceled their seasons entirely. You know what I mean? So Ty Delandria is going from a team where he's got a struggle to even get a sniff yep. to a team where like he could be on the first or second line some night. You mentioned the Sharks taking advantage of other teams, Adam, and you forgot one of the biggest, and that's Jake Wallman. Oh, I, I did mention him in the intro, but yes. Yeah, no, I mean in what you were just saying right yep. now. They acquired Jake Wallman and a second round pick. Do you know what they sent the other way? Was it not a third and a fourth or something? Nothing. 
Future consideration. No. Hey. <laughs> they 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 got that from Iserman for Steven. nothing. Steven Iserman. Yeah, or it's Steven it's Daniel. an incredible. Like I will love what they're doing there, and I think they're building something great just by just hey, we are a team with a lot of cast space, not trying to win. Um, let's take on good guys. Right, and and so I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at this. Carl Gr Grundstrom's a guy that. You know, in Leafland, a lot of Leaf fans, you know, if you're a fan of the bottom six guys, Carl Grundstrom obviously was traded in the, I believe, the Muzzin trade or the Campbell trade? No, it was the Muzzin one. It was the Muzzin one yeah. to L.A. Um, he's now signed there. He brings some value. Matt Benning, former Oiler, mm -hmm. signed there for a couple more years. I really have to appreciate how much they've taken advantage of things. One question I have for you guys. Blackwood and Askarov. Askarov signed for it this year at 925 as a rookie deal, and then he's got... Two more years at two million bucks a piece. Uh, Blackwood's got another year. The highest paid uh, goalie for the uh, San Jose Sharks is Vitek Vanacek. Is he going to play much this year? No, um, I think something's going to happen before the season begins. You think there's a move there? Yeah, I think. Okay. He's so anyway, long story short, uh, the, I, I told you eighth division, sixteenth conference, forty-seven points, the worst team in the league last year. Where do you have the San Jose Sharks this year? And I'm just going to pull up the uh, the over under here, so you guys can have a real. So the over under is 63 and a half. They had 47. That's almost that's a full 15 point mm -hmm. change yeah. if you go over. Leafs finished last. They had 69. <laughs> yeah. Holy. What do we yeah, think? They they finished last in like a weirdly yeah. high end last place team. Yes. You know. Yeah. Wow. A lot of parity that year. Yeah. The Leafs. yeah. Uh, well, if you want my answer, like I've given you almost exclusively good things about the San Jose Sharks. Uh, eighth. You still have oh, them eighth. Wow. I, still, I thought about putting them seventh. I still might. Do I have time? You can't. Well, you, well, you, you, once you've made the call, you yeah, made you know, the call. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> ah, right now. These are, these are the official go, picks, go with Steve. Your okay, eighth, and it doesn't matter. The, sure. It doesn't. Uh, Are they over or under 63 and a half, which is a 15 point improvement, which is great by any standard. See, if they're over, I don't think they finish eighth. Over. They could. No, sure. they still they finish could. eighth. Yeah. They, they could still could. finish eighth. Absolutely. Steve, just, just I, I like <laughs> say eighth, what then. the organization is doing. Okay. It's still going to be a tough go. There you go. Uh, I'm going to leave Jesse for last because I always make him go first. I'm going to go sixth in the division. And I think, and I'm going to be bold. I think this team's going to have 85 points this year. 85? I think they're going to have 85 points. I like the San Jose wow. Sharks a lot. Their defense, I grant you, stinks. Yeah. But if you look at who's who else is in the division, I I could see them it's, pulling a lot of points from teams like the Flames. It's great at the top. There's it's, just not a bunch. It's a feast after. or famine division. Yeah. And I think that they're going to take advantage of that. That's why I have the points total, I admit, is a little inflated, but you have to have some bold takes wow. in there. Uh, go Sharks, sixth in the division. Jesse, what do you think? Uh, if you're going, if you're going sixth, I might as well go fifth. Like I might just, I'll just oh, pop over you and, wow. and say fifth place in the division, San wow. Jose Sharks. All right. Now, now gonna, you got me feeling stupid. How many points? How many points? I'll, I'll, I think, what did you say? I said 85. I think you can, you can easily finish in fifth with 85 points. Yes. The absolutely. Seattle, the Kraken had 81 and they were fifth they were six. Six. Calgary tied with the Kraken at 81 uh, points and they were fifth in the division. So yeah, it'll be like 80 points, but it'll be, it'll be in around fifth. That is, you know what? I think, I think it'll be fifth. No, you're done, Steve. Yeah. I'm a grown up. Be, <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Seventh. No. Seventh. I'm a grown up. I'm a grown up. I think it'll be fifth or sixth, um, and it can go either way, but they'll be in and around that area. For the sake of you said six, I'll say five. Okay, Steve, one last quick thing. Yes. We know that you got a message there from the president of the Sharks. Yes. And four, four what did he minutes. tell you to take advantage of? I, I sent a Hail Mary to him last night. I was like, hey, we're going to record our thing. And I was like, oh, he ghosted me. But then four minutes before we started recording, uh, he talked about the potential of a Lund line, Eklund, Zetterlund, and Granlund. Oh, I like that. Um, <laughs> maybe a 70s line, Celebrini, Eklund, and Toffoli. Who oh, I like that. 71, 72, and 73, oh, respectively. I was like, what's the 70s connection? But then, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I like and that. And then um, they have seven centermen on the roster, including Logan. 
which I thought was interesting. That is Logan Couture, including Logan Couture. Um, so who will be down the middle? Not who will be on the roster. Who will be down the middle? And he said, "Remind people, it's five miles from Cuda Arena to Sharks Arena." Barracuda. Just so, so just he people, said, Cuda. Yeah, <laughs> but like context for people who don't yeah, know yeah, your yeah, short yeah. forms. <laughs> um, so uh, two way contracts will be interesting to watch. And given this guy is the president, I don't think he said any of this by accident. I think it was very intentional. Uh, by the way, I want to throw out there the Barracuda have the best social media team in all the AHL. And Do they? They're the best. They are the best. In I what way? Barracuda. Yeah, they're wicked. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, they're wicked. If we ever got down there, I would want to. I would want to see a Cuda game. What are they Cuda. doing? That's so wicked. They're just fun. No, oh. they have a good sense of humor, and I like that. Sometimes you know, because I we come from Toronto, where it's like, well, it's a brand, and it must be stale. This player has been called up. This player has been sent down. Here's an announcement. Mm. Brad for living with a statement. Whereas the Cooter are like, you know what? We're here to party. Woohoo! I like that. Yeah. Anyway, San Jose Sharks, there you go. 